Oh, thank God for all these bullets. Hey all you cool cats, welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. We are following uh, Nagisa out of here. I am trying to find sparklies. We're here. It's at this shrine. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Of course she is. She has to stay because she needs to save Byakuya. There's no way she's going to leave. Uh, of course. I have to save Master Byakuya. Yeah. Right. Hey. What do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me, you're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. Involved? What do you mean? N nothing Just leave before he changes his mind. I feel like... Maybe, maybe she had like some sort of deal worked out that she had to keep Komaru playing this game. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she was working with like, I don't think she, I don't know, maybe it's like one of them, maybe either Monica or Nagito had her make a deal so that way she had to like, keep Komaru playing this game or they'd kill Byakuya or something. <clears throat> I guess. Anyways, I saw a sparkle. Children know this town better than I thought. I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I would never be found. But as if they knew where I was hiding from the beginning, a Monokuma came and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, I, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin. Her flesh was everywhere. But I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide. No place to run in this city. Um... It's true that your parents were cruel to you, but that doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Again with that nonsense. After all this... We are well aware that they are killing innocents. But... This is war. When you're burning the enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? Even if we had years, we would never achieve our dream with that benevolence. But... Demon. Consider it fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. Wouldn't it be a cruel twist of fate? If we didn't fight back. Um, but for you to do to them what they've done to you. Don't mess with me. Perhaps you're thinking we should have just stayed subhuman? Just accepted it? No. No, not like that. Hey. Then you tell me. What should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to earn the privilege of a normal, happy childhood? Don't mess with me! Oh, stop being such a drama queen! You could have relied on the police, on the government. Don't mess with me. 
You're asking those who have had their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults. <sighs> ever since we were five, ever since we five were born in Toa City, our destiny was decided. No one could stop us. With all the children in this town, we built an ideal paradise. That's very true, though. Like, from the point of view of a child, it's very hard to trust some some other adult when when the people that you should trust the most are against you. <clears throat> With all the children in this town, you're talking about all the brats in the helmets? Of course. It's not just us, but also the Monokuma kids. All the children. It's far too suspicious. Funny that all the kids in this town just happen to have murderous intentions like you. <laughs> Perhaps I've said too much. I have nothing else to say to you. You can, you cannot stop us now. Pretty bold for a shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how unfortunate your childhoods were. Killing humans will never be okay. Demon. I didn't expect a demon to understand. I don't have the uh, level of amazing vocals that not Nagisa has to pull off his voice. Battery is full. Hearts are full. Alright. I feel like this is a boss fight coming. I'm, I'm really scared, you guys. I should have seen... I should have seen some sparklies around here at some point, right? I don't see anything up there. Right? This way. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was sneaky. They hit it right there. Jadero. That- that was the second one. Okay, oh, good. Oh my gosh, I haven't missed a child yet. Are there no sparklies on these steps? Hold on. Check. This is it. Wait, how are you stairs? supposed to go down those stairs? This is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. You would have to slide it down. Look how there's not enough room to go down. You know what I mean? Like you need a you need like a, a wider opening. I could understand if like the floor dropped like long enough that you could drop by like four five feet or whatever then you could go downstairs like these but there's not enough room what are you doing hurry up and leave hey what's the hold up if you just go through here you'll uh -huh. be outside of the city didn't you want to run away didn't you want to escape this town Th that's right that's what i've always wanted at least that's what i thought Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. <laughs> what is going on with this face? Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist, who has no distinct characteristics, doesn't just quit. Huh? Aha. <clears throat> so she's working, she's working with Nagito. Alright. Komaru Naegi, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation. I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? 
Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. D don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the Warriors of Hope? Paradise or the game? W what are you talking about? It's obviously... The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason you did not do exactly that, and are instead going behind their backs, is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. <sighs> do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay, I really think you should. D damn it! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. W what are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. Huh? Uh... Now, perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? Es escort? W what are you talking about? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Oh, I see, I see. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up! If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game, returning the hacking gun you had lost, Having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items. Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. <laughs> There's the fourth wall, and now it's gone. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Why 
Why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate. You are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak. The losing side. People are touched by underdog stories. Slaying Goliath. The weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save uh. this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. Jeez, he's so freaking nuts. Wh what do you mean? I'm... Hope? I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't <clears throat> understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. <laughs> I think you were plenty enthusiastic. But regardless, <clears throat> I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, hope will always win in the end. That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You... you're just as crazy as those kids! You must be insane! I mean... Duh. <laughs> Look at him! Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean... Now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please, just... Tell me the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Byakuya, and you've been lying this whole time. I don't, <clears throat> I don't think, I don't think she would ever have agreed to the whole just turning Kamaro in for Byakuya. I don't think that she would have ever just done that. I, I just, I think what she would have actually done would have been like, get to the kids' base and save Yakia and not have Kamaru just be traded over. I don't think that she would have ever just... Because Toko doesn't seem that tight. She doesn't even... She doesn't even desire to, to... Like, she gets upset about the thought of like, just going around and killing these kids who are responsible. She's... She seems to be a little... She's at least above all of that. Moral-wise. That's... That's gotta be a lie. Right? But I do agree that she probably did agree to the whole exchange. Even if she wasn't gonna hold up the end of the bargain where she wouldn't have done anything else at the end of that. Answer me, Toko! Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie! What? All this time, I was protecting you and cheering you up. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko. That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Uh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. 
Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Doku. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. What's she trying to do here? Is she trying to, like, push Kamaro ah, to leaving? Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? Guess there's no other way. By force if I have to. Force? Gotta kill! Kill, 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 kill! Oh, I got no choice. I gotta start the slicing! Togo! If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Stop it already, Togo! Ow! I oh. won't let you escape, Kamaru Nayagi. It would be troublesome if you did not play What am I role. supposed to do? Yes! It works on the stun gun! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! See? Whoa. Now what are you gonna do? You don't defeat me. You'll never be able to leave this town. Jeez. Oh, I can't seem to hit her when she's running around. To survive, you have to sacrifice something. It's not doing anything. Whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. I don't understand what I'm doing. What are you doing? Oh Stop. my gosh. Even with the hacking gun, Komaru should be easily outmatched by Toko. Oh, I'm running down her battery. I'm running down her battery. That's what I'm doing. Alright! Ah, she lost consciousness. Toko. Oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run! I see. She's, she's trying her best to let Kamaru, like, choose her own destiny here. What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Toko, why? She must feel guilty for, um... Deceiving her. 
If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Hope. <laughs> it sounds disgusting when you say it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Mm -hmm. Then allow me to lend a hand. See? You'll still make it if you go now. <gasps> Toga! Don't go near me! You... you... Run! Toga! Don't get your blood on my glasses! I'm the Cinderella of the Slaughter Flower Garden! you two share knowledge. You don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I should... Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Uh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you are something of a pretty boy yourself. So <laughs> I can kill you as I like. No remorse. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path. For the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> Probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. 
If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... <laughs> That's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? That's right. Hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable normal girl who can't do anything. But... I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll... stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, alright? I've... decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <laughs> Thanks. Toko! <Aww. laughs> <laughs> they love each other! Oh. So, um, about what just happened... It... it's alright. I kinda figured out what was happening. Huh? Really? Friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. <laughs> well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! <laughs> well, guess it turned out so all not right. funny. If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. Achievement unlocked. Woman's battle. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Though it does hurt. <laughs> Good. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. Monica? You saved the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. Yeah, so Monica. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. <sighs> who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have... already been disqualified from the game. But it'll be alright. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy alright. <laughs> You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. We don't want so in order to get back Byakuya, <laughs> we need to stop the children's rioting, right? 
Hmm. Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Right, Toko? But... Are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit... suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Ah, uh, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider. As expected of his little sister, my judgment was indeed correct. Ah, uh, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both. Even if it takes my life. Do your best. Defeat despair. Is he gonna bleed out there? Look, his, his legs are all slashed up. That's it. Just a little longer. Just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, Nagisa? I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. I'm guessing I can't go back. Okay. Um. All right. Let's let's be diligent. Sometimes Tomorrow. they put. Thank you. Sometimes they put huh? sparkles. Saying it so plainly like that. It's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, for me too. I've never really thanked anyone before. Okay, that sounds like a problem. Right, let's, I'm just triple checking. Sometimes they sneak in sparkles afterwards and then like, you miss them because you think you've already sweeped the area. All right, I'm good. Anyways, that's it for this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.